So one of the biggest things right now in retro gaming is of course the NES Classic Edition. They are still difficult to come by, but if you manage to come across one and pick one up, you're probably having a pretty good time with it. It's a solid little device and a nice way to just play some NES games really simply just by plugging in something to your HD TV and plug and play. Bam, you're playing the games. But one of the things that sucks is of course there's only 30 games on it. And most of us have played a lot of these games to death. So what about if you wanted to play some more obscure NES titles? You would actually have to get your cartridge out and put it in your NES and then hook it up to your HD TV. Or do you? The NES Classic Edition has now been hacked and you could put pretty much any NES ROM on this bad boy and play it. It's really simple, it's really easy, and I thought that I'd make this video for you guys so that you can really open up the power of your NES Classic by adding pretty much any game you want to it. So let's find out how to hack the NES Classic. All right, so before I show you guys how to hack the system, I just wanted to show you two games running on it. Now you can see that I deleted everything else off of the system and you have the option to do that. You could take every game off if you want to and put games that you want on there or you can keep the standard games that are on there. I chose to put uh, Turtles Tournament Fighter and Mighty Final Fight to just show you, you know, a clean install of it. So that way there's no other games on there. Um, the hack, it, it pretty much will let you do about 95 games or so. Um, there is a limitation on how many games you can put on there. You can't put a full NES ROM set, which kind of does suck. That would have been really awesome to do that. But it does, as you can see, play Turtles Tournament Fighters fine. Um, I am not good at this game, I realized. I actually never played it, but it's something I've wanted to play for a while. So I just wanted to give you guys a little preview of that and then a little preview of Mighty Final Fight. Also, yes, you can do save states with this. It works just like it does with the other games, which is awesome. And here's Mighty Final Fight running on the NES Classic Edition as well. This is definitely a game you should be adding after you watch this video. Uh, it's definitely a must own in my opinion for the system. Probably the best beat em up. Um, definitely gives Double Dragon a run for its money. Great sprite work, great character animation, just a fantastic game. So underrated too, I guess because it costs so much. But yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys basically that um, before I get into showing you the nitty gritty stuff. So this is what you do to hack your NES Mini. You get the Hack Chi program, which you see running here, Hack Chi 2. There will be a uh, link in the description box below. So what I'm going to do here is I've already downloaded an NES ROM of River City Ransom and that's the next game we're going to put on the system. We're actually going to take off Turtles and Mighty Final Fight and do an install of the 30 games plus River City Ransom. So we selected River City Ransom. You choose, you know, how many max players you can have on there. You could put in the release date, the publisher, whatever. Now this is really cool, the box art portion. You actually just click Google and as long as you're online it will pull up uh, different box arts for you to use which is essential so right now I've selected everything on here I'm gonna deselect tournament uh, turtles tournament and I'm gonna deselect mighty final fight and just put the original 30 games plus River City Ransom on the system just to show you pretty much what it looks like to show you that you can use everything since I showed you you know the opposite so here we go follow these instructions and you're good to go make sure the power on the NES mini is switched off Reconnect the NES Mini via or to the PC via your USB cable. You can use the power cable on the system. You want to hold the reset button and turn on the power switch. And after a few seconds, your computer will make a dinging noise that it's recognizing the USB drive on your computer. And when you do this, then you release the button and boom, here we go. It's now uploading to your NES Classic NES Mini, whatever the hell you want to call it. And so right now it's putting all of the 30 games and River City Ransom back onto the console. You can switch out as much as you like. Um, there, there's always the risk of you know a system bricking, but I have not heard of anyone bricking theirs by using this method. And uh, I know a lot of people that are using this method, so it seems pretty clean. Um, there is a virus warning when you download Hack Chi 2, but just ignore it. It's not. You know, it doesn't, there's not a virus in it. I've already scanned it a million times just to make sure. And literally, that's it. The game is now on the system, 
And so, uh, yeah. So there we go. Uh, now we are on our NES Classic. There's River City Ransom along with all the other games. And here it goes, man. Yes, it is that easy. It literally takes minutes. You do have to do an initial install when you hook up the NES Mini to the uh, PC. It'll just do a kernel dump and then a flash of it. You do that one time and then you are good to go for the remainder of your hacking of the console. Put anything you want on there. Uh, there are some limitations. You know, like I said, only about 96 games you can put on at once. And there is some games that are not working. I don't have a comp comprehensive list for you guys yet, but hopefully uh, someone will make one because that'll take a lot of time. But yeah, Reverse City Ransom's running great, looks great, sounds great, and I can play it on my NES Classic without having to worry about anything. And of course, the most important thing about the NES Classic is my save features. Save states still work, so there you go. And that's all you have to do. So within minutes, you can take your standard NES Classic and hack it, and it's so easy that everyone should be doing it if they own one of these. Why not open up the library of games on this bad boy? Because it really adds to the fun. Now, of course, not every game works. I have heard that Batman Return of the Joker doesn't work, so I'm sure there are other games out there that don't work, but in my time with putting games onto it, I haven't run into any issues yet with anything. So really, the sky's the limit with this uh, hack. It's really simple, it's really fun, and I really like it. So if you uh, are interested, you know, click in the description box, get the little ROM program that you gotta run. And like I said, it's super simple. Don't worry about any virus warnings. It's a clean file. Thank you for checking out this video. Be sure to share this video around so that more people with the NES Classic can really open it up and have some fun with it. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, check out other videos on the channel. And if you really like my face, check out my Patreon. I'll catch you guys next time. I'm going to put some more games on my NES Classic. Later.